nosebleeds. If you like the information, then please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. So let's begin. Tesla Powerwall 2 is a rechargeable battery system and an energy storage device. It has a lithium NMC cells, the same cell which are used in the Tesla electric cars and these cells are being produced in an enormous Tesla factory based in Nevada. The first generation Powerwall 2 released around five years ago had uh, a much smaller size around 6.4 kilowatt hour capacity and it was a uh, it was a high a DC voltage coupled battery but the second generation Powerwall 2 has over double the storage capacity at almost the same price including an inbuilt inverter and chargers. Let's talk about Powerwall 2 features and benefit. It has a 13.5 kilowatt hour usable capacity and 100% of depth of discharge. It in a, it is in a, it's an AC coupled battery with the inbuilt integrated inverter, which I will explain later. Secondly, it has a 5 kilowatt continuous power output with a 7 kilowatt peak output rating. It has a liquid cooling system, which helped to operate this battery in a wide range of temperature from 20 to 50 degrees Celsius. It comes with a 10 year of warranty with 70% retained capacity. Design wise, it's a great rectangular shape which has a simple on and off button on the one side and this battery is not a lightweight it comes with a 120 kilo uh, but can be ground mounted as well as a, a wall mounted apparently house with the high consumption can attach up to three batteries per phase um, it's 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 a it's a well tested and comes with a good uh, weather rating however still recommended to install it in a shelter location such as carport garages or if possible out of the direct sunlight exposure most important powerful to cannot function as a backup power supply or a UPS without additional backup gateway. Tesla Powerwall 2 is an AC uh, couple battery which means it has own inbuilt AC and DC inverter and a charger which has pros and con both. The biggest advantage which is the ability to attach with any retrofit existing solar system so it doesn't matter if you have a string micro or a hybrid inverter it can be attached to your existing solar system since it get attached to your meter box. At the same time, one of the disadvantages is that AC coupled batteries are slightly less efficient as compared to DC batteries. Let me explain you the reason. First, the DC energy gets converted to the AC electricity by the solar inverter, then back to the DC to be stored in a battery and in the end back to AC when it needed by the house appliances. So in the process, typically you can see 3 to 5% of losses in each conversion. And then that is why, uh, you know, if you see this Tesla Powerwall 2 data sheet is written 90% of uh, round trip efficiency, which is 95% efficiency in common DC coupled batteries. Another good thing about it's a, it's a water resistance, dust proof, child and pet friendly. You hardly need to do anything. It, it has a wonderful real time app with an inbuilt sensor to monitor solar production, battery storage status, even export electricity as well. You can view and manage your energy remotely through the highly user-friendly uh, user app. Everyone has their own reason to buy Tesla Powerwall, like not relying on a grid for environmental reason, most importantly for saving money. Let's calculate the Tesla Powerwall 2 return of investment with and without SA Home Battery Scheme, Tesla Energy Plan and other VPP plan which is currently available in the market. Let's do the math. In order to calculate the accurate payback period and, it, and of a Tesla Powerwall 2, we must have to do the saving calculation on the basis of stored electricity versus nighttime consumption and early morning consumption as well. Therefore, you need all the numbers and try to consult a qualified electrician to get an accurate number. I'm keeping this calculation very simple, which is easy to understand uh, for you guys as well. Powerwall 2 can store 13.5 kilowatt hour electricity. So what do you think? How much uh, does storing one kilowatt hour of solar save us? So let's take uh, an example. If we uh, we are paying around 40 cent per kilowatt average uh, electricity price. Now, if we store our solar energy in a battery, then one kilowatt hour worth is or if I use that one kilowatt hour at night time, how much I save? Most people think we save 40 cent, but that's wrong answer. You save 30 cent because by storing sto uh, solar energy in battery, 
you have chosen not to export it to the grid and earn 10 cent per kilowatt hour as in feed-in tariff don't get confused in feed-in tariff and rebate uh, so the actual benefit is 40 cent minus 10 cent equal to 30 cent so let's calculate how long it will take to pay off uh, pay off your tesla battery so 13.5 kilowatt hour into 30 cent into 365 days equal to 1478 which is the best case saving now this battery fully installed and supply cost is around fifteen thousand dollars with a 10 years of warranty so in absolute best case scenario the payback is 10 years now if you are eligible for SA home battery scheme then uh, total cost would be around 15,000 minus 6,000 is around $9,000 in this case it uh, it will take your uh, you know payback period is around six to seven years again in the optimistic scenario that your solar is producing a significant amount of energy which can be stored in power wall too now let's move to the Tesla battery in virtual power plant where customer give access of their battery to energy companies to support the grid or to sell the store electricity through Tesla energy plan which also called a TEP plan consumer will get a further two thousand uh, dollars discount on purchase value which means the battery minimum install is around six thousand uh, six thousand five hundred to seven thousand dollars which takes your payback period to four to five years this plan has few impressive features as like 30 31 cent kilowatt hour electricity charge if you are going to purchase any electricity from uh, grid which is anyways cheaper than any competitors no daily supply charges which another saves you 300 dollars uh, a year uh, with the 10 cent of feeding tariff as well which means if your battery is full you can still get a credit against export electricity i think agl uh, and simply energy and few other energy companies are also offering a Tesla VPP plan. I'm going to uh, take an example of a popular Simply Energy VPP plan for Tesla Powerwall 2. Uh, in this VPP plan, a customer must pay around $9,900 upfront. It's a three year contract and up to $1,500 credit as well, which will be calculated daily at $7 per day and credited to the customer's account monthly. A provided customer uh, must have to meet the term and condition therefore the customer effectively out-of-pocket expenses around 4890 which is way more cheaper as compared to buying outright simple energy will manage your energy stored system through a software platform and it may at any time uh, charge discharge or maintain energy in your energy storage system including to including to uh, to support the grid when simply energy need to do this they will always retain the minimum of 20 percent of stored capacity in the energy storage system and customer can use this capacity to provide uh, to provide a backup power in case of any local blackout hopefully this information helps you to understand more about tesla powerwall if you uh, are interested in more videos uh, on solar then please check the links in the description and please subscribe the channel uh, for more updates and share the video as much as you can thank you